starting the CFL preview with a look back at last season. Um, each year, if you're new here, I go over the win-loss totals for every team and uh, make prior predictions. And then when we get into the, the start of the next year, it's nice to go back and review and see where we were going into things. Now, um, things were up in the air in Ottawa at the time with the quarterback situation, I believe. So um, we only have eight here, but uh, the over-unders did really well for us a season ago. We will start in the... East, where uh, we had Hamilton Tiger Cats under 10 and a half wins. A lot of people assuming that this is going to be a team that the, the Grey Cups in their hometown, they've made a big deal for Bo Levi Mitchell. They're going to go for it. That was never believed by this podcast, and we came out to be right. That's a check mark. Um, we got Hamilton under 10 and a half. Montreal over seven and a half wins. I, I thought that was a little low. Um, at the time, like Cody Fajardo there was definitely an upgrade and the rest of the team is pretty good. So I thought people were sleeping on Montreal a little bit. We get a check mark there, two for two. Toronto, over nine and a half. There were questions about Chad Kelly at the time. Now there are substantially different questions about Chad Kelly this season. Um, and that's, what a gross story out in Toronto. Um, but at the time, the questions were about his football playing. And while... Again, you can question the other stuff. You can't question the football ability. He is quite good at that. Um, and the rest of the team was stacked. So we we're like, yeah, of course, they're, they're going to take it. A check mark as they go 16-2. and two. So they cleared that one uh, by around Labor Day. So we went perfect out east. In the west, BC, over nine and a half wins. We got that one. I was a little bit surprised at people thinking, again, Rorick was amazing, but Vernon Adams is really, really good. And so we bought in on that, and we were correct, getting it at over nine and a half. Calgary, under nine and a half. I was screaming from the mountaintops that this team was overrated and that this team didn't do enough to address a lot of the holes that they had. And it was just, well, yeah, Meyer came in and did whatever. So it'll be fine. I, I was worried about that. I'm still worried about that. Under nine and a half, locked in. We nailed it. Edmonton under seven. Seven just seemed way too high for a team that had so many moving parts. You hated the quarterback and uh, didn't like a lot of the weapons they had around him. Check mark. Got it. Thank you for waiting so long to put Trey Ford in. Uh, Winnipeg, over 13 and a half. This one we just scraped by. Um, Winnipeg was just such a complete team. We, we believed in them greatly. And so we got that check mark. So we're seven for seven. And we go seven for eight. Because the Saskatchewan Rough Riders, we had it over seven. And they were at six wins for forever. And then they weren't. Uh, didn't get to over. They they We get stuck at seven. So we, uh, we missed that one. If uh, Trevor Harris stays healthy, we go eight for eight on this bad boy. But I think that the message here is that there was a lot of off-season noise that I think uh, that the market's kind of overreacted to with these. So I, I do think that the, the lesson to learn going into this season is to just kind of take a level head and just kind of Occam's razor this. Like, okay, what's the most obvious outcome in this? Oh, it's that? Okay, let's go with that then. That is, I, I think, the way to go about this CFL preview. So um, we're going to continue these as the week goes along. Coming up on Monday, we are going to look at the best players in the CFL. The top 10 ranking will come out. And... Uh, going to look at the most talented teams in the CFL. Normally we do a top five. That would seem a little excessive in a league of nine. So we'll probably do a top three for uh, for that. And then coming up on Wednesday, we'll have breakout player candidates as we get ready for the start of the Canadian Football League season.